what is going on beautiful people welcome back it's your boy blue and this my friends is a new game or new to me with a major major update that's released called rail route and what the heck is rail route well basically this is a train dispatching simulator like if you're into flight sim you know like atc it's kind of like that uh but this is my first kind of playthrough i actually just finished going through kind of the story and getting the hang of how it works. You can actually see my current save game. We're in Prague, uh, going through a few different stations. I got a few trains. It's not extremely busy, but we're gonna jump into a brand new game now. I'm hitting the escape key. And before we dive into the main gameplay, I'm just gonna show you around for those who are new and have not heard of this game yet. So this is the map screen. These are all the different maps you can uh, check out as well as timetables. So these are kind of pre-made timetables with certain amount of services running through them. And you just have to make sure that trains don't hit each other and that they're not late. That's the simple fact of it. It's not as easy as it sounds, but that's what it is. We also have a rush hour game mode, which is basically like a challenge mode where you're kind of challenged with connecting stations and getting trains to where they gotta go um, during a, a extremely rush hour period. It's actually pretty challenging, but it's kind of fun. And then we have Endless, which is basically there's different maps you can join in and you can just run services until you don't want to run anymore. And if you're the creative type, uh, you can actually create your own map. If you want to add a city or location that doesn't already exist, you can create your own or add one from the Steam Workshop. So if you have played this game before and you're wondering, so like what's different? What did they change? Well, basically this update covers a ton of stuff as a really, really long change log, which is good. It's good to see from developers. But I think some of the big things are it has a completely revamped tech tree or progression system and upgrade system, which is now based on how many trains you can dispatch on time in a cycle, which we'll talk more about later which means you need a certain amount of contracts or trains to even be able to reach the new tech tree tier. But besides that, there's been a lot of quality of life improvements. And for new players like me, the dev team has worked really hard on upgrading the user interface and user experience to make it a bit easier to get into the game. And I gotta say, I've only been playing this game since yesterday, <laughs> and I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. We'll see how things go. So today I'm gonna go over to current game. I'm just gonna create a new game. Uh, I did play through the Prague uh kind of story mode it's kind of like a story mode it's kind of interesting with some really good voiceovers but we're gonna start a new game using washington dc uh we're not gonna do infinite money but we are gonna go ahead and unlock all the upgrades and all the tiers just so i can show what that is and we'll select new game heading to washington dc all right there we go so welcome it's up to you now grow your rail empire from scratch build up the traffic by accepting contracts don't worry, we've already accepted a few to provide you an easier start. Contracts will provide you traffic. Accept them wisely and form your traffic with them. Everything repeats in cycles of 60 minutes, so you can plan ahead. When you feel comfortable, buy new platforms and expand to new stations and accept contracts there. Decline contracts you don't want to run. It's part of the game. Okay, good to know. All right, hit continue. So we are here on the Washington map. You can see we have Riverdale, East Market, Benning. This is not a tutorial, but again, I'm gonna show you kind of like a good idea of what the game is about, what you can do. I've actually really been enjoying it the past 24 hours I've been playing. <laughs> um, and I'm, I, I, it's kind of addictive. I don't know why, but it's kind of addicting. Anyways, so this right here is a train uh, coming in from the east. I think that's east, I'm not sure. Um, this train is parking at Riverdale. It wants to go to Benning. So I click on it here. It's in Riverdale. It wants to go to Benning uh, Platform 2, and it's going to be leaving in 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and set the switches. So this white line is obviously the switch. It's actually already set, so we can click on the signal right here, and that'll give us a green light, taking him all the way to Benning. Now, once he gets to Benning, he's going to have to swap ends, turn around, and come back to, uh, looks like, Platform 3. So it looks like the arriving platform will be 2 on the top, and then the departing platform will be three in case we get any other traffic that wants to come in or go out. So uh, this is pretty simple, um, pretty easy, I think, in the beginning. Again, it's already accepted some contracts for us. We click on the I key here. We can see all the services we can expect and at what time they will be here. So next to it, 8.59. And then we have 8.09, 8.29, 8.49, 8.12, 8.42. And we currently have six 
contracts. The top side will show us our money. So as we, um, you know, as we actually do things successfully, we'll get money, we'll get points, we'll get XP, you know, things like that. So let's go out of here and we're probably going to want to start some new contracts because that's a pretty bare timetable. We need a bit more going on so we can make a bit more money. You feel me? So let's see what we can do. So Riverdale has a contract for us. All right. So we can click on this guy and we can see there is a contract here. So uh, basically what this means is on the top left. So is, this train is going to be departing Riverdale, going to Benning and then come back to Riverdale. It's actually the exact same thing we just sent off the platform just now. But what we want to do is we want to offset this. Right. So right now, uh, the way it works is whenever you create a new like contract or a new service, they have to send out the train to do a time, like a time trial kind of thing. Like it goes out to find out how long is it actually going to take and is it actually going to work and things like that. So you have to send that out first. It's going to happen immediately unless we change the time here. So here's our arrival time. So I know it's kind of confusing, but the arrival time is basically the time that's going to arrive in Riverdale, which is our first station and departure time is going to depart. So I'm going to move this. Uh, actually, no, let's, uh, we're going to use platform two. Yeah, you can see it's also changing over here on the right. We're going to use platform two. It's a bit crowded. We do have like, two more trains coming in right afterwards, um, which is fine. We're going to probably have to do like some double tracking, right? So I'm gonna go, let's go with like 8.05, which is like four minutes from right now. And it'll depart at 8.06. But when it comes back, we want to come back on track three. Now, here's the problem. See here, it's overlapping another train, which means that we would not have an open platform for that. So I just want to keep as I want to keep that in mind. I, I love this visualization. I'm I'm really bad with math personally. <laughs> uh, and so I don't I don't like yeah, I don't like. So let's go ahead and move. We'll move the arrival time to a better slot here. It's gonna keep clicking through until we find a slot that's good for both the uh, departure and arrive, which I love that also shows a, a little yellow marker both when it arrives Riverdale and when it leaves Riverdale on track three and on track two. So I think this slot could be good. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a good slot. So we put it right there. So track two uh, at bidding, you can use any track. We'll just say track two. Uh, it's the only track right now. And then we'll leave on track three. We'll hit accept. All right, recurring cost. We already know that. So cool. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna speed up time here, and you'll see our train's gonna run down the line. And once he gets to the end, he's gonna turn himself around. Now there's actually a perk that you have to unlock uh, in the skill tree here, which is right here, which is called uh, auto reverse trains. You can actually see all the different skills again. I've already have them unlocked, but uh, this is what they look like now. The changes. Been a lot of changes in this area is also the uh the red the one-way tier as well which i don't really know how to explain what that is yet but it's a thing so that's cool all right so you have to get it to reverse if it doesn't reverse on its own you can hit right click and you can reverse it manually but anyway so next up in one and a half minutes uh he's gonna head back to riverdale again his whole everything he's planning to do is right up here which is nice as well did a really good job just making it easy. So I click right here. This is actually the switch. And now when he goes back this way, he will go to straight to platform three. Since there's no other traffic on the road, we can just give him the easy route right there. And we'll speed up time again. And uh, obviously, like if you don't want to speed up time, you don't have to, but you absolutely can. So these little arrows here, um, maybe I didn't explain that, but these little arrows are showing, hey, you have another contract available if you choose to accept this. We have one going from Riverdale to Benning to Brentwood. Now here's the issue. Where's Brentwood at? Oh, here it is. Yeah, we don't have a track going to Brentwood yet. We could make one. We could make one if we like. I mean, it's a little it's a little slow right now. If we want things to pick up, we could definitely add some more uh, platforms, add some more stations. Matter of fact, I think it'd be a good time to add another platform to Benning. We don't have all the money though. Yeah, we don't really have, let's get some more traffic on the line before we start spending all of our money. So let's go ahead and fast forward this. He's gonna go to track three there. And because this is the end of his service, he's also going to exit out here on the right and continue down the line. I mean, Noah's kind of like just back and forth. What we could do, we could streamline this actually. You know what, let's do that now. If we're gonna be running trains back and forth from Riverdale to Benning, we need to make this like 
convenient. You feel me? So this is what we can add. There's nothing on the track. We're going to hit pause. And this is one of the interesting part about this game that you can actually change up the, the tracks however you please and how often you want. So I'm going to go to the bulldoze or the trash can. I'm going to delete that track right there. Delete this one as well. And delete that one. And what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to start with a slower track. We don't have a whole lot of money yet. Once we earn more money, we can, we can afford to do faster track. So I don't know if we can go any farther down. Nope, we can only go straight here. I'm going to try to create a double track section through here. And we may buy a second. Oh, let's see. How much would it cost us? If I click on B or the construction tool down here and then click on buy platforms. All right, it's only going to cost us $1,500. let us see if we can buy three. Yeah, let's buy three. Platform three over at Benning. And since we have so many contracts coming in, I think it'd be a good investment to do that. So we'll go back to construction here and go down to the very bottom. So you have 40 mile per hour track or kilometer, 80, 120, 200. Oh my God, that'd be crazy. Uh, you have a lot of options out here. You have a tunnel tool. Oh, you have a tunnel tool? That's cool. So in my story mode, I didn't have I didn't have everything unlocked. So I didn't I haven't used some of these things. You have your signaling tool, your auto signals, your arrival sensor, your departure sensor, and your routing sensor. That's pretty cool, actually. So, anyways, we'll use the cheap track because we're just getting started. And we're gonna go down here. I should go down another notch, and we'll go straight into track three. And then we should have enough, hopefully, to make double track the entire way. Yep, we'll click there. We'll go down and then right into two. So then we, now we have a beautiful double track section going between Riverdale and Benning, uh, which is our main route right now, which I'm actually really considering extending towards Brentwood. be a nice um, long section, but I'm not sure if that'd be cost effective just yet. So we'll see. We will see. So let's see. What I'm going to do here as well is I like to make a little cross track. So traffic can go either way coming either direction and we'll do that on also on the other side too and we may again we could always edit this and adjust it later on so hit escape key and hit play and now i'm actually gonna right click on the signal and we'll fix these tracks we don't all we need to do now is go straight boom just like that it's gonna be that easy when he comes back we'll have him cross down here so basically the top track will be our uh, what do you call it westbound for now? I'm not sure if, the, if that's actually correct, but we'll call it westbound. Um, so the top would be our westbound track and the south, which would be main two. What we'll call it main two will be our eastbound track. So I'm going to click on this now or no path is occupied by what? Okay. I think I figured it out. I have to right click here. Let's try it again. There we go. So I, just, I right clicked on the signal because I did something. I misclicked or something like that. But anyway, that train is heading out. Uh, again, we'll speed up time here. And there we go, we have a, ooh, oh, what is this? A East Market train? Oh, I forgot we had contracts for East Market. So we gotta fix the track so he can get to East Market. Cause that track is completely bulldozed. So we'll have to figure that out. But let's go ahead and get this train out of the way first because we can't edit the tracks if it is occupied. So let's let him clear the track. Uh, he is now clear. So again, we'll pause it again. And in this game, you know, once you get all your tracks set up, you'll be a lot of running. But in the beginning, it's a lot of infrastructure, infrastructure type stuff. So we'll go to. Oh, you know what? I don't even know if we have enough money. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't even know if we have enough money to get to get a track laid. Oh, it's going to cost too much. Oh, no. OK, OK. We're going to have to we're going to have to to, to do some, I just delete a few things. So I think we only really need maybe that track going that way. And let's see. Mainly our our arrivals are coming in on two and going straight on. And then when they come back from two, they'll go down and over to three. At least until we can make a little money before we add the other uh, cross section. I just need a little bit of cash. To get us over so let's go ahead and delete uh we'll delete that one and we'll delete this one too we don't really need it yet right because we just need to go two to two to three that's all we need right now so we'll do that and now we have a little bit of cash we'll see if we have enough to get us from here to here oh 
barely. Oh, okay. That is so close. So if we do, okay, is that more or less? I have 4,800 4, to go that way. So we'll do that. And what's perfect is that guy can just drive right over. So we hit play again and we'll hit escape, get out of build mode. And this train is going to basically go from Riverdale to East Market and it's not coming back. That's good. That's what we need. So, all right, so as uh, our first train or next train is rolling into bidding, we can actually hit the switch behind him. He's going to come back and go that way and back into uh, three. When he's ready, he's going to hop on that switch. Again, since there's no traffic in the way, we can just go ahead and give him the clear to go. And the same thing for uh, our bidding traffic. He's clear to go back to three. So that's that easy. That's kind of the gist of the game right there is you're building tracks. You're trying to make the most uh, efficient way to get there and back. The times are actually really important. Thankfully, so far, we haven't actually been late for anything. Um, but it does show you right here how much time it take how much time it needs to be there. This is not how long it takes to get there. This is how long it needs to be there. If it's not there in three minutes and 30 seconds of real time, then uh, you will get a penalty. Uh, and again, and if you do crash, game is over completely. Like you have to start over from an old save or whatever. So I need these trains to get to the destination and then uh, earn us some money so that we can start building some more stuff. But you can see this can get very busy when you have a lot of trains running. Okay, fast forward, and as you can see, we coming up, we got us a little money now. We got us a freight train actually rolling in out of East Market, so let's go ahead and set his line. So he's gonna go down to Benning. I'm gonna set that track there. That's a manual switch, and we'll send him down there. He has a green light, and he's just passing through Riverdale. We hit the auto switch, and instead of hitting this switch right here, I can hit the next auto switch. And it'll automatically, oops, hold on a second. We'll click there. So we'll click on this auto switch and then click on this block and it automatically switches it for us. And he's going to go all the way to uh, track two here in bidding. So we hit that block and it will hit track two or platform two in bidding. Now what's going to happen is this train here is going to drive all the way to this track and he's going to stop there until this train has vacated or cleared the way and then he'll drive in there automatically i don't have to do that myself and this is why i love the automation in rail route now we're gonna go ahead and sequence a few trains here so we can get things happening i'm gonna go tell him he's leaving in 45 seconds we're gonna click on him we're gonna have him go down on main two all the way over to this so again you see i'm not having to hit every single one of these junctions is automatically gonna hit the switches for me and then he wants to go in the track four so boom it's gonna automatically hit those switch so that is the auto signal if you guys were wondering so he's gonna actually come to a stop and wait as i said we also have a train down here leaving landover uh where we actually extended to we got parallel tracks we got 80 kilometer or 80 mile per hour tracks everywhere now i've upgraded the entire route and I'm actually going to sequence him as well into track three. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this last signal for him and put him into track three. Now, obviously, we got a bit of a choke point here. So he's going to wait here until this junction is clear. And then the auto signal will automatically swap the signals. I'm going to go a little bit faster. Automatically swap the signals to get him into track three, which is amazing. And this freight train here is going to be here for 21 minutes. So he's going to be occupying this block probably loading or unloading some cargo here in Benning and uh, we can't do anything here until he's done he'll head back to East Market so there it is automatically switch the tracks for us and he's on the way in and at the same time we can now see that that train down here is making his way through into platform three in Benning we have another train just rolling in so once everybody gets off the main line I want to show you guys a little bit more of the options you have with automation which is gonna make your life a lot easier when you have a really really busy route here in rail route i just hit pause right here beautiful another thing that i want to do is i think it's about time that we extend out to brentwood hopefully we have enough money to do that so let's go ahead and hop into the build mode again i'm going to actually go ahead and buy um these two uh it's a bit expensive eight thousand sixteen thousand all together this is uh what is this, what is this called oh yeah this is called an auto block um the best way to explain it is it's much longer than it looks um, rather than it being just like one of these blocks, each of these tiny little blocks are longer blocks. So it takes trains longer to drive through these than the other ones. Go ahead and buy that one as well. And then we're going to go ahead and extend the route again. We're going to go all the way down to Brentwood, but we'll start here at least so I can show you a few things as well. So we'll go 80 mile per hour track. 
and I'm going to go ahead and draw a line from, this is going to be main one, main two, and I'm going to extend this out just a little bit, connect that there, connect that there, and let's see. So basically all traffic westbound or left, right to left will be on this top one, and left to right will be on the bottom one, and then we'll obviously extend beyond there. But let me show you something really cool. Now, I didn't really go into much detail um, on these final three or final four options here in the builder menu. So we have out of obviously auto signal, which I just explained. And then we have the arrival sensor, the departure sensor and the routing sensor. Now, how does that work? Let's first upgrade to the auto signals on this side of the platform. So this only automation only works with the auto signals. I'm just going to click on these and get a little bit of money there. And let's see. So the way we want this to work is we want we don't want to have to hit these switches every time a train arrives, right? We want it to do it automatically. Let's get some auto switches on this side too. There we go. So we have to have, has to all be contained in auto switches or auto signals. We go to the arrival sensor and let's see. So trains coming from left to right will be arriving or passing through binning. So we'll put our, uh, we're first going to put an additional, here we go, put an additional uh, auto signal right here. And they want to put the now these are very expensive <laughs> so uh i i can only afford like one of them right now the arrival sensor i want to put one right there cool um and that should be good um i think it'd be easy enough to explain what i want to do from here so we're still paused and the way this works is th i'm gonna click on this auto signal now i'm no longer in the build mode i'm gonna click on the auto signal and now we have some options we have tell the, the game or the simulator, which signal this is controlling. So we want it to control this one, right? Because the junction is ahead of that. So this is going to control this junction. So um, it's now selected that. The next question is, it's an arrival sensor, right? So which station is it applying to? It's applying to binning. I'm going to click on binning. So now you can see you got a little green dotted line going to the signal and a white dotted line going to binning. Actually, we don't have to tell it really anything. Just on that, it can understand that if a train is coming from left to right, passing through this block where the sensor is, it's going to tell this signal which track to put that train on based on its destination and the tr platform that it's supposed to be assigned to. So if it's coming in for platform three, it'll automatically move the switch to platform three without me personally having to do anything in the moment. Same thing for platform four. And if we were to add a junction here to platform one and two, it'll do the exact same thing there. So that's automation. You can place this all over the uh, your route. You could also create a departure, um, a departure sensor. Now these are a little bit more complicated. So let's put one on four just for example, and again, these are pretty expensive, $10,000 for one. The departure sensors can only go on departures. I'm gonna click on that, puts a little line of it. There's also a route sensor. Uh, so if you just want one to hit like some switches throughout a route, you can do that as well. Um, and if you wanna completely automate an entire route, you would definitely need all three and a ton of freaking money. So anyway, let's go ahead and hit escape here. And now to get this to really work, we have to click on this little white box and it's showing you, hey, which signals are nearby. So you don't have to actually tell it, hey, what signal are you working with? Like you already know, man. So what we're going to do is tell this departure sensor if a train is going to Riverdale, which most of the trains leaving Benning are going to Riverdale. The others are going down to Landover, at least at the moment. So we'll say if a train is going to Riverdale, I'm going to click up here in this little plus marker where it says all trains. You can also uh, you know, be a bit more specific of which types of trains are applied to this rule, I should say. So I'm going to click on the plus marker and now we have a yellow arrow here. All the cities or stations are now in yellow. So now we'll click on Riverdale. So now it's saying, hey, if a train is in this block and is detected by the sensor and is going to Riverdale as, as a destination, which way do you want me to send them? And we're going to send them to this block because it's the next block before another automated uh, automatic signal. I'm going to click on that. So what's going to happen is if a train's going that way, it'll automatically hit this switch for us and this switch for us and put us into this block. And what's going to have to happen is you, you would actually need a second sensor within in between these blocks for it to automatically send it the entire way. So that's 
a bit tricky. It depends on your route. So that's how we have it set. That's actually all we need to do for that. You know what? I'll buy one more departure sensor right here and uh, and I'll show you how it works. Again, clicking on the sensor and again, leaving Benning, there's two destinations, uh, Riverdale and uh, Landover. So we'll click, we'll add two for that. So we'll say, hey, train's going to Riverdale. Riverdale trains, I want you to go this way. And trains going to Landover. I want you to go this way. That's it. It's that simple. Now we actually have a train that's there. Let's get this train moving over here first. So he's going track two. Does not have an auto signal, so we'll do that manually. And look at that. Automatically, this train, that's so cool. Automatically, it was like, yo, you want to go to Landover? I got you. So imagine having an entire route set up with uh the sensors and automation and you can basically have a whole route running without you touching anything um if you really planned it out really well so also go ahead and sequence him into track two just like that beautiful And we'll sequence him behind him, even though we do not have a departure sensor. We'll have to do that one manually. And we'll send him on the same route as him. And he'll follow this train. Once this train clears a block, he'll continue through the block. All right, this guy has a automatic sensor there. Let's see if when this train clears out, if he automatically is sequenced down there. Let's see what happens. I have a train waiting as well down here. Actually, let's uh, clear this out. Yep, he's going that way. And going on track four. So just like that, automation. So it's pretty cool uh, what can be accomplished here with that. I, I'm looking forward to extending the route uh, beyond and, and getting this whole thing really set up and going. But um, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible because, I mean, you can really get in the weeds in it. It's a lot of fun, honestly, though. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't been playing this longer, to be honest with you. Like, I, I personally really enjoy it. Um, the only thing that I wish that I could see is I wish I could see the actual trains a bit more. But honestly, even in real life, dispatchers are not seeing all these trains. But guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video of Rail Route. Um, huge shout out and thanks to the devs uh, for allowing me to check out this game and sponsoring this video. Also, let me know if you want to see a part two or if I should turn this into a series. I'm definitely going to continue playing this game. The question is, am I going to hit record? So that's going to be up to you guys and your response. Thank you guys again. But uh, guys, until next time, this is Railroad Train Dispatcher Simulator. Until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm going to keep going with this, man. This is pretty fun.